All right, what's up, everybody? I'm going to start doing a project video. I uh, changed my mind about what house I'm going to use. I'm going to use this blueprint right here. Uh, here's a picture of the house of what it should look like. We're going to change the siding and little things. Uh, we're going to put a foundation on it instead of it being right on the ground. And this picture over here is siding reference, and I'll show you guys in this series how I get the color off of this picture. And I don't know if I'm going to change the roof color and what's already in SketchUp, so we'll see what happens. But uh, basically, I'm just going to hop into SketchUp and get started and show you guys step-by-step step how I do stuff. This video will probably only be uh, walls and foundation, hopefully. I'm going to try to keep it under 15 minutes. Uh, last time I tried to do this, it ran 22 minutes. And at that time... I messed up with my mic and it wasn't recording, so basically half hour of my life wasted. But anyway, basically what you want to do is get the tape measure tool and bring it out to this to the edge of this line. And we're going to resize this image, so then we're going to go to this. Basically this is the wall right here, and this other part is the brick. We're not going to do brick, we're just going to do siding. As you can see, that goes around the whole house. So we're just going to do the walls. So after you get those two guidelines down, you want to hit control on windows and click on this outside line and then drag it on the red axis to this one and these walls are all uh, standard 2x4 framing so we're going to go four and a half which is what I usually do which would be and I'll ask you if you want to resize the model you hit yes so now all these walls will be four and a half I choose four and a half because the interior has half inch thick drywall plus three and a half for the two by four because the two by four is actually one and a half by three and a half for you people who don't know that and then the exterior of the house has a half inch uh, wood sheathing actually I, I don't really know how thick it is it might be three quarter but then you got the siding on top of that so just to make it easy I do four and a half it's, it's roughly like a real life house the thickness of the exterior walls, if it's 2x4 framing, will be around 4.5 inches. So basically I just delete this interior guideline and I'll just, I'm just going to put guidelines around this whole uh, exterior of the house. I'm not going to do this cutout just to make it easier, I'm just going to go. And for this video I'm not going to bother with the interior walls, I just want to show you guys what I do for the exterior. Um, I might do an interior of the house uh, with another another project but basically I'm just doing this outside this outside line just because uh, once I get the actual lines made I just use the offset tool and it just makes it a little bit easier instead of doing all the guidelines so I think that's it so I hit L for line tool and I just connect all these all these corners Oh, I missed one. So if you miss one, if you just uh, find out the axis you're on, for me it's red here, and you hit shift, it won't go anywhere. It'll just stay on that red axis. But if you were to let shift go, it goes all over the place. So if you just stay on that line, you hit shift, and then you pull it until you see the green axis, uh, axis line. Just uh, eye it up, boom, and you should be good to go. All right, now that I got that all done, I hit the offset tool. Click in the middle so it, it grabs this left this left wall, and then you just want to pull it out 4.5, and then I delete this interior part. All right, so moving on, I'm not gonna again I'm not gonna uh, use up any time doing the interior walls. If you guys want to see that, just leave a comment and uh, I'll do it in another video. But uh, basically, I would do the same process I used on the outside walls. Uh, with the interior walls but with the interior walls it's a little bit trickier because you got door openings you got to figure out what kind of size door you want for the front i'll do the front obviously the front door garage door here uh windows and all that but just the interior house i'm just going to leave all open just for the sake of the video because i want to show you guys what i do on the outside so for the for the height of the walls i go eight feet and then if you guys watched my first video, I go an extra four inches 
just because I take the roof and I uh, push and pull the outsides down so it's got some trim around it which I'll show which I'll show you guys in this video but for now I'm just gonna grab these top corners or these top lines so I got all the exterior lines I'm gonna hit M for move and hit control to duplicate and then I'm gonna move that down four inches so right now the height of the walls are eight foot and then eight in, or four inches more for that exterior trim on the roof that I'll show you guys later. So once I got that done, I double click everything and make a component. And then I'll move this up. For the foundation, since I'll I'll keep this simple, if I go back to here, this has like barely any foundation. It doesn't even look like it goes up a step. So that's this house is probably built on a slab instead of a foundation. Uh, with a slab you can't have a basement so um with this house i'm just going to go up like maybe two steps and a, a normal step is no higher than seven and a half inches for the rise and for the for the tread it's no more than 11 inches so that's a standard so for the foundation just to make it easy i'll do 14 Actually, 50, my bad, which would be two steps, seven and a half, and then seven and a half again. So when we make this foundation, it'll just go up one step, and then the second step will be the landing for the porch. Okay, once I got that done, I'm going to take my line tool, and I'm going to, actually, I am going to make, just to, just to show where the garage is, I am going to make a wall here. And then I'll... I'll move it out. I don't know how far out this goes. So I might try to just eye it up and then like 11.5 feet. I'll just do that. Just to, it helps with the realistic part. Because my foundation, I'll make a hole. Uh, like I'll cut out a hole for the foundation to go straight down to the ground so you can drive the car. Like ob obviously you're not going to drive it into a foundation. That doesn't even make sense. So four and a half there. Make a rectangle go all the way down. I apologize if I'm moving fast. Like I said, the last time I did this, it ran 22 minutes. So I'm just trying to go as quickly, but not as fast as possible, you know, because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So basically, I just made the wall to connect right there. I'm going to remove this axis because it's in my way. So once I got that done, I'll start doing the foundation. So basically, I'm just wrap around and I'm just going to go straight across because that's like I said the landing and then the stairs will come out here which you guys will see me do boom now you got that now I take the rectangle tool and I just make a square there select it and delete now I grab push and pull so I'm pushing and pulling and I just bring it down to the floor plan picture because that's that's where the access would be boom boom Okay, so what I like to do with my foundations is I grab the offset tool again, and I like to go, uh, like, going away from the house one inch. So you get this, you get this little, oops, you get this little lip. Then I will pull that down. Let's go, let's go two inches. So you have a like div divider like I don't know I, I saw it on one house and it looked pretty nice like this would be instead of just going brick all the way up to the siding it doesn't look right it, it like divides the brick from the siding I don't know the technical term for it but it just gives a nice little lip it looks it looks a little bit more professional I guess you'd say now for the landing here uh just to keep with that border look, I'm going to go out an inch from the walls so it lines up with this uh, lip we just made. Take the rectangle tool, make that square, and then I'll just erase the edges. Usually I save color for the end 
but just to show you guys what it would look like, I'll make this a component. And for again, real quick for the for the walls. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna do color real quick. All right. So for Windows computer users, uh, I open this up with Paint, and I have a piece of scrap paper here. So I just zoom in. And I take the eyedropper tool. I try to get the sun, so that's the more realistic color. Like this will be kind of really dark, just because it's in the shade. So I go to uh, the sunny area, and I just I just color it in just to see if that's the color I want. And that looks that looks pretty decent. So I hit edit color, and then I get the RGB colors, the red, green, blue. So I'm gonna quick write them down. Two one nine. Two oh three. And then one eighty. The wall, I mean the windows and the side trim are white, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm just going to get the roof color just in case. So I'm going to get maybe like a, a dark, I guess a brown or a dark tan. Get those real quick. Just writing down the RGB colors. Uh, one, one, four. 3 and 97. All right. Now heading back over to the model. I'll just show you guys one wall cuz I'm running out of time. It's already 11 minutes in. I just grabbed this and this will be the trim like for the corners. If you look at the the picture here. Actually, let's go back to paint. You see these uh most houses have these white trim pieces. So just to make it look a little bit more classier, I grab the offset tool and just offset the whole thing four inches. So now I take the bucket. I, I use the white cladding because this tan color is kind of funky when you manipulate the color. So I take the white and then I go to edit. Click on this little select bar RGB. And then I just type in the siding colors. So that would be 219, 203, 180. And that gives us our color. Now I might change this a little bit because that doesn't really look nice. Might make it a little bit darker. So then anyone who wants those exact colors, there they are. If you want to pause that real quick to jot them down or whatever, there you go. So then uh, also for the trim pieces, I'll take the wood and I'll take this uh, wood cherry right here. That usually works the best. And it'll It'll color that whole whole trim piece, and then I edit this to get a nice uh, white, just so it's not like a flat color. You know, it gives it some texture look. And I'll stick around like 240 or 250, one of them. So going down to the foundation real quick. I'm trying to I'm trying to hustle for you guys. I get the asphalt and I just get the black asphalt and I just paint this little lip. I just paint this lip black. Go all the way around and then for the actual foundation, obviously it'll be brick. Sometimes I switch it up and I do a stone, but for this I'll just make it brick. And in, inside of the garage, don't forget because that would be exposed unless you cover it up. And for this middle piece, we're just going to put this, that little brick layout. Alright guys, so that's the basic of uh, the exterior. Obviously, you would continue this technique for all the walls, and you'll see that in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next series of these videos where I do the roof, windows, all that. Thanks for watching again. If you like what you saw, please leave a like if you thought it was helpful. Please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. All right. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.